We are back with a new story at five. NASA is on a research mission in Hampton Roads. For the past week, a GE Aerospace 747 aircraft has been flying over the area for NASA Langley. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> 10 on your side's Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson caught up with them today and shows us more about the mission new at five. This is one big plane. This is a 747-400, nicknamed the Queen of the Skies. It's more than 230 feet long and about 211 feet for its wingspan. This is General Electric's propulsion test platform, and it's all about research. When GE bought the 747, they removed all of the seats and converted it for research with all of the computers that you see back here. This week, we were up generating contrails, right? And NASA was flying around scanning those con contrails with a LIDAR instrument as part of our RISE program to help understand how contrails are formed and how our designs in the future can help mitigate them and the potential impacts that they have relative to climate. Airplane contrails form here at the engines. It takes in that air from the high parts of the atmosphere. As it warms it up as it goes through the running engine, what's left behind is warm air where there's some water vapor that gets expelled out. If there's enough moisture in the atmosphere, you'll see a cloud form behind the engine, kind of like on a cold winter morning when you can see the steam and smoke coming from a tailpipe in front of you at a stoplight. Similar things are happening here. Researchers at NASA Langley have partnered with GE to study contrails using their light detecting and ranging on board the Gulfstream 3. So we're using NASA's state-of-the-art high altitude LIDAR observatory, HALO, uh, which shoots a laser beam down below the aircraft and measures the light that's scattered back by the atmosphere. And so that includes atmospheric layers of moisture that we expect to be conducive for contrail formation. It also includes the contrails themselves. The week of flying is over and scientists will continue to study the data so our next flight could be even more fuel efficient. At NASA Langley Research Center along with GE 747, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson, 10 on your side.